Hey everybody, Reasonable Gamer here, and I just thought I'd share my thoughts on the Splatoon Global Test Fire that happened, was it last week? Last week? No, it was the week before. Woo, time flies by. Okay, so my impressions is this is coming from somebody who is not a fan of shooters. I... I hate shooters. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like if if you're like a sniper, you have to sit there and wait for somebody to get into your field of view. If you're not a sniper, then uh, you know you're running around frantic looking for somebody. And if you can't find somebody, then you feel like you're useless. And if you're not good at the game, you even feel you feel even more useless. So yeah, I don't like shooters. However. That being said, I really had a fun time playing Splatoon. Um, it was, it was great. It was like nothing else I have ever played before. I never felt like any of that had to be done in the game. I never felt like I had to sit there and wait for somebody to pass me by. I never, I felt like I had nothing to do. There was always something to shoot, something to point at, and something to to, to aim my gun at. So, if you're not familiar with Splatoon, I'll give you a little bit of a um, uh, tie-in to this. Splatoon's basically the new Nintendo shooter. And the object of the mode that was on demo is to cover as much ground or turf as you can with your color ink. Um, team that does that the most wins. Does it the... whatever. You know, the most area. <laughs> Uh, wins. Only uh, horizontal spaces count, the vertical spaces don't. You can like spray your gun on the wall and whatever and, and, and ink up the wall if you want to, but those do not count for um, judging a, a turf war. There were four weapons to, to sample in the demo. Two of them were almost the same. There was a splatter shot and a splatter shot junior. I didn't find very many differences between the two. Um, Basically, it's like a small machine gun type of Uzi, like that, and it splatters paint around in front of you, or ink, I should say, and it's not, it's not a bad weapon, it's, it's actually pretty good, I think. Um, then there, there's the splat roller. The splat roller, I've seen everybody think, is overpowered. I tend to disagree. Uh, I don't like the Splat Roller as much as a lot of others. <laughs> um, basically, a lot of people think it's overpowered because you can just put the roller on the ground and all over the place and then roll and go all over. The problem that I've run into is once I'm out of ink, I have to, I have to squid back into the ink I already made wait for me to fill up again and then move a little, little, little forward. So there's there's this kind of notion where you can Yeah, you can spread ink really easily because you have a roller and you know, if you're if you've ever painted before, using a roller is a lot easier than trying trying to paint with a uh, say a, a machine gun, I guess. Um, but, so yeah, there, it, it does seem like it covers a lot easier, and it should. It's a it's a paint roller or a splat roller, if you will. Um, but I think that the drawback of having to squid and go back is enough for me to kind of avoid the splat roller because I I like to press forward, and with the splatter shot, when you run out of ink you can still kind of press forward a little because you're spraying the ink in front of you instead of, you know, straight on the ground and behind you, leaving the trail behind you. So there's a lot of, the, there's that type of thing that the people who say that the roller is overpowered haven't thought of, in my opinion, is that you can't press forward as much as the other weapons because the ink is all behind you. And so there's, there's a definite stopping where you have to say, oh, I'm out of ink. I'm going to go back this way. Okay, I got more ink. Now I can continue. And yeah, and the other the other weapons, you don't get that. 
So therefore, that's why I don't think the Splat Roller is OP. Um, it's also good to defend against, or easy to defend against. You just stay out of the range of the roller, and, and then that's it. The roller guy goes, and, and, and yay, that's good. All right, so the last weapon that they doubled, and personally my favorite, is the Splat Charger. And I might make a video to go into a little bit more depth on the Splat Charger, because it, it's not getting a lot of love, and I, I have... I have some guesses why. But the Splat Charger is actually the complete opposite of the Splat Roller. See, with the Roller, you can cover a lot of area, but when you run out of ink, you have to go back. The Splat Charger charges up a, a blast and shoots forward a big, huge stream of ink. So what happens when you're out of ink? You get to press forward into all of that ink. So you're still going forward and forward and forward. And, and I like to get up into the enemy's face and, and say, hey, Oh, look at me! Get me! You have to try and get me! And kind of be a more of a distraction um, while I'm covering the ground. And I, I can't do that with a splat roller because it's too slow. Not too slow at shooting, not too slow at running. But overall, when you run out of ink, there's a stopping point and you have to go back. With the splat charger, you're spraying forward, and then you're squidding forward, and you're always moving forward, so you can get to the enemies quicker. And now, with the Splat Charger, if you're shooting ink forward and somebody's following you, then you're both going to get to the enemy base faster. So, say, I don't know, I think a good pairing is a Splatter Shot and a Splat Charger, because this, the Charger can, like, way out there, and then if you both follow up that stream, the splatter shot can kind of blah, 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 while the next charge is charging up, and then another shot forward, and there you guys go again. And then once you get to the enemy base, you have this machine gun guy spraying everything down, and you're trying to splat charge out whatever you need to. So, <laughs> my favorite weapon is the splat charger. Feel free to agree, feel free to disagree, but I think think that everybody who has tried the demo has said something positive about it, or at least has said that this is so different that they're willing to give it a try. Um, I encourage you to try it as well. It's coming up once more this Saturday. Um, I believe the time is 3 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I'm bad at time zones, but I'm in Eastern time, so that's 6 p.m. for me. I want to say that's either 10 or 11 um, across the pond, uh, Europe time, England time. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. So, but go with, go with 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm pretty sure that's accurate, because that's the number I've seen. So, hopefully, I will see you guys on this Saturday, 3 o'clock-ish Pacific time, 3 o'clock somewhere. Yeah, Splatoon, baby. Woo! Um, I'm going to tie this in here because I can, but for the, the rest of this channel, stuff is coming. Stuff is coming. I'll do a couple more vlogs, like I said. Blogs, with a B, blogs. Um coming up about Splatoon, I, like I said, I'll go into more detail about the Splat Charger since a lot of people just, and it, it makes me sad, but a lot of people are just not getting it with that weapon. Their, their complaints are ill-informed. So, and I'm trying to figure out what Let's Play to do. I still have all the Nintendo claims on my Pikmin 3. So, uh, I, I think I might pick up with Breath of Fire 2 once more, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that, okay? So, please stay tuned. I haven't forgot about you guys. I hope you guys haven't forgot about me, but stuff is coming, all right? All right, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you hopefully Saturday. Bye!